Hello everybody, this is a tutorial about the creation of streamlines in a Blender or kind of streamlines. Um, in order to create streamlines, we are going to use the particle system. In particular, um, okay, let's try with a basic one, the, uh, the just uh, an uh, emitter particle and just uh, all the default settings and uh, try to remove the gravity because we don't want to to use the gravity the gravity as well we just want to create some uh, attractor forces so in order to do that let me open the oh i don't have here okay anyway uh, shift a for create a new object and i want to create a force field force okay so here we have this force and now if we press play or we just press alt a we see that this force is pushing away all the particles okay now let's uh, create particles that start from one and end to one and give them a longer life okay so you will see that all those particles are emitted and then pushed away so if you, for example, instead of creating on the surface, we can create inside the volume. And now, okay, much better. We can choose not using a starting velocity. So the normal, instead of one, we can set it to zero. Okay, now we just see the force and not the direction of the faces. Okay. Now, we can create, of course, uh, a negative force, an attractive one, and we can do that changing the strength in the physics panel of that force to a negative value, so minus 10, for instance. Okay, now it's attractive force. Fine. Now, if we create, uh, maybe just minus 2. Okay. 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 What's happen if we create more forces, like this one and this one? Okay. You will see that the particles start floating around a point that is in the middle, here. So how we can use the real position of the attractor instead of creating a new, uh, not existing one in the middle of them? So we can uh, use, for example, gravitation that, as you can see, automatically use 1 divided by the, the, square, the square of the distance. So the same for all the forces. And now you will see that the particles are attracted by the individual forces. Okay, and this is much more realistic. Okay, now if you want to see the streamlines, what you have to do is to choose your particle system, is to set path, but as you can see, you're not able to see the path because before doing that, you need to bake the simulation. So you need to compute all the movements of all the particle, and after that, you will be able to see the path. So you need to open cache, press bake, okay, and now you can see the path. And um, in display, you can increase the steps and see it's moving, okay. But as you can see, each time that you change something, if you want to see an updated version of the simulation, you need again to free the bake and bake again, okay. So this can be a bit annoying because each time that you have to change something, you have to bake again. So let's try with a different kind of particle. So we'll delete that one and create a new one. And this time create a hair particle system. Okay. So the hair particle system. Um, well, we can, as you can see, you have the particles that are uh, following the direction of a normal of the faces. But uh, if you go to field weight, you can increase a lot the weight of the attractor forces. So instead of keeping one here, you can 
use 10. And you see that this is affect affecting a bit more. If you use 1000, you almost don't see anymore the direction of the faces. If you use, sorry, before it was 100, now 1000. And uh, okay, this is the maximum, I think. Okay. Now I want to increase a little bit the quality of that. So again, we can increase the steps in display. And now, as you can see, when you move your cube, it automatically recreates the streamlines that are just hairs that are attracted by those forces. We can move it. Oh, I lost that new uh, hair. And forces 200. Okay. And now we can increase that. If you increase the steps, it'd be a bit slower. But the nice thing is that now we can create a lot of those attractors everywhere. And create a crawling magnetic field. Of course, some of those particles, uh, some of those, of those attractors can be negative, so you can, I mean positive, and so be, we, we will be repulsive. And this is a way to create that. Another way is to, oh nice, that one. Another way is to create uh, just a plane with a lot of hairs and see them as a field. So, for instance, uh, let me move to a different layer. Just let me keep... Well, just create a new layer, okay. So, I want to create some attractors, force, and again, uh, gravitation, and make two here, okay. Some of them here, and let's make um, another one that is negative, minus two. Some of them negative as well. Okay, and I want to create a plane. Okay, now using a plane, we can create again the particle system, and here particle system. And uh, okay, so as you can see, we are following the vertical direction, and uh, if we increase again the force strength, okay, you are almost using less of that. You can increase the quality here, okay, and now you can see. those magnetic streamlines and you see that some in some point we are repulsive and some other we are attractive unfortunately using hair you can't prevent to give an initial direction so if you go to advanced you will see that you have normal to one but if you set to zero you don't have the length anymore so you can try maybe something in between you can try to increase the hair lengths, but again, you are pushing them vertically. You can try using... Uh, you can try using... What was the default one? Okay. Shorter lengths, or you can... Uh, don't use normals and try with a tangent, but again, you will give a direction. It will make it flat, but you will have still a direction in that way. Or uh, you can increase a lot the strength of individual uh, attractors. So minus 20, and you have to change all of them accordingly. 20, minus 20, 20, and again, again, again. Of 
course, you can increase the numbers. You have number here in the particle system. You can set 500 if you want more. And okay, so let's assume now that you really like the pattern that you have. Let's return to the 3D one. Okay, you really like the pattern that you have and you want to create the kind of geometry that follows those streamlines. How can you do that? How can, for example, you how can you can how can you be able to create isosurfaces around all those? Uh, I'm using now not the official blender but the uh, fracture branch so using fracture branch you have this very nice let me create uh, first here okay you have this very nice modifier that is uh, where is uh, remesh yes okay you already know Remesh, but you don't know that you can also use now Metabol with this particular branch of Blender that you can download from Graphical. So if you choose Metabol, you can create Metabols around vertices. And these basically, if we reduce the size of those, and if we increase the quality, this will basically create Metabols around all of the vertices. So if we reduce again the sides, okay. So you will see that when they are closer to each other, they will merge together. Otherwise, we will be separated spheres. And we can use that strategy in order to create metabols following all those streamlines. But you can't use that on that particle system but you can uh, do something different so we need to create uh, an object with uh, i mean you can use particles sorry you can uh, use remesh and here metabol and particle but uh, unfortunately uh verse size like that oh that Okay, I consider that. But as you can see, it's not really considering if also I reduce the size. It's not considering the, the hairs, but just those points, because it's basically developed for a physical particle, not hair particle, emitter particle, sorry. So just delete that. So we need to create another object that in some way follow the direction of those hairs. So if I create a um, plane, okay, and in edit mode I merge everything, Alt M, at center. Now I want to extrude along the Y of one unit. Okay. Now I need to create a lot of points. So imagine that what I'm creating here will be following each one of those hairs. So I need to create more vertices. In order to have a parametric control of that, I prefer to use an array. So instead of X, I want to use Y. Okay. And now I can set, for instance, 200. And I will use and we have a 200 segment. We add a segment with a, a line composed by 200 segments. I want to merge them. Okay. Perfect. Now I can use a modifier that is particle distance. I have to choose the object that contains the particle system that I want to follow. So I can choose that one. Not field, cube, yes. Okay. I have to choose the option create a long path. Okay. And now you see another version of that particle system but composed by vertices. And now that I have vertices, I can use the remesh. Probably we can reduce that a bit. Let's start with something lighter. And also here, just remove, uh, reduce the number of particles. So we'll try with 100. We will increase later because using remesh can be really uh, expensive for computation. And now we can use modifiers. We have the array, 
the particle instance we don't need that anymore now we can use remesh okay again metable vertices okay reduce the size 0.1 more 0.02 and the quality 0.1 okay probably 0.05 Probably we need to increase the size 0 0.05 here as well. Okay, cool. We can make them a bit bigger, 0.1. You can also play with the threshold. So if you are not sure of, of the meaning of all of those, just play with some default uh, metaballs in order to understand how they work. And now we can also choose to play, play with the threshold. So if we increase that, you will see that it makes things less uh, regular and you will see more the aggregation part and less the part that are not aggregated to other streamlines so probably this is very high value three okay you can choose the parameter that you prefer and of course if you want to increase the quality you need to reduce the wire size that actually is represent the size of the faces actually is the size of the voxel that is used for creating this isosurface geometry and if you want a smooth shading you can activate that option here okay now I, just, I will keep that quality probably if you want to make a render you can use a better one so 0 0.02 and when you render it you will have something like that wait for that okay much better but also much slower so let's keep here uh, like six okay now everything is uh, connecting in real time you don't have to bake things uh, to apply modifiers or everything so if you choose if you select your cube uh, your sphere but it's actually the cube and you move it you will see that you will have a nice surface version in real time and it's really fast really nice we can also try to increase the number of arrays it will affect the, the heaviness of the of the geometry not actually so much so fine we can also increase the number of particles again try to double one double it and it's lower now if we reduce more 15 okay much better if you want to reduce the size of that and just scale it yes less interesting because yeah all the points will follow the same direction almost okay i hope that you enjoyed it